Our previous supper together in Bethany was, quite frankly, a fiasco. Mary anointing Jesus' feet, Judas' outburst, Jesus talking about his death. We were looking forward to a quiet evening, just a regular supper, some food, some conversation, chilling, relaxing. That's how tonight's supper began, but that's not how it ended. We thought this night would be different. It wouldn't be like the supper at Bethany. But this time, it was our feet. This time, it was Peter's outburst. It was, however, another supper interrupted. During supper, Jesus got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash our feet and to wipe them with the towel that he tied around himself. Jesus took our relationship with him to the next level. This was different. We'd seen him do miracles and reach out to others. But this was just him and us. We'd been together for about three years. We'd shared so much in that three years. Conversations, meals, experiences, prayer, time, life. But we were following him, watching him, learning from him, learning about him. This marked a shift in our relationship. It was almost as if he was handing over, passing on the baton, so to speak. He said, do you understand what I've done for you? You call me teacher, Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should follow. Do what I have done for you. I said, he will never wash my feet. How could he? It just wasn't right. If anyone should have been washing anyone's feet, I should have been washing his, not the other way around. I think we probably all understood Peter's objection. Peter is one of us, a disciple, and Jesus is our Lord and Master. It just didn't feel right. So we held our breath and waited to see what would happen next. What Jesus would say. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, no servant is greater than his master. No messenger is greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. I hadn't seen that one coming. Jesus was serving us an intimate dinner of love, vulnerability and humility. And what did he mean? Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. I don't get it. I think Jesus' question was, are you ready to take your relationship with me to the next level? I kept thinking, hang on. If Jesus, our Lord and teacher, has washed our feet, do we also have to wash one another's feet? And why? It has to be about more than just having clean feet. Aren't the feet and bread and wine just outward symbols? Was tonight about love, relationships, service? Then I realised, this is so much more than polite behaviour, kind acts and nice words. It goes beyond feelings. It's choosing to wash the feet of another regardless of whose they are or where they have been. It's the willingness to hold and care for the feet of others, regardless of what those feet look like or what they have done. It is forgiving those feet that have kicked us and asking forgiveness of those we have stepped on. It is remembering that the feet we hold were created and are loved by the same God who created and loves our feet. It's recognising how much those feet look like our own feet. This is the way we continue what we were shown, what we were taught, what we received. By this, everyone will know that we are his disciples.